Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be kind of interesting and it's going to kind of clear up a lot of the questions that are asked because obviously whenever I do a video I get the same people saying oh can I try out, can I join the MVP clan and it honestly does warm all of our hearts knowing that so many people want to be a part of this journey and this community that we're building. But obviously it's not as simple as just okay yeah you are, you can join. Basically there are like kind of procedures um, as obviously we only want the best of the best players because don't get me wrong I don't claim to be a good player myself however if we all have players like me we're not exactly going to be a very competitive clan as I'm trash at the game and I want to clear up another question because a lot of people ask what is MVP but basically MVP is a gaming group uh, however there is like a competitive team to it as well so basically we have an MVP YouTube group of basically people that just create content and that's basically what MVP was before this whole competitive team kind of came through but basically that in the YouTube group you have the likes of me, Tsunami, Kensei, Kiers, Reese, and a few others that basically just help make the content just kind of thing like the funny kind of side of thing um, for example my seven days to die series my dead by daylight series as I do or I say series like the videos I do and then you have like the Minecraft videos that we recorded. Um, but yeah, it's like literally, a lot of people ask how you join, and there's gonna be a few steps on how you join. So yeah, make sure to tune into this video. But as always, if you are new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you don't miss videos. And there's actually gonna be a point reason why you should do that later in the video. So without further ado, let's crack on with it. So the first thing is kind of like an obvious one. A lot of these are kind of like cliche and kind of like, all right, well, obvious, but honestly, anyways, <laughs> I'm just gonna crack on. Basically, the first thing I would say is just being active. Um, when we first started doing tryouts, we had a couple of inactive people that would literally only join like once every like four streams. And it kind of made us think like, they're good players, but we want them to be active. Um, so yeah, they obviously are off the roster now, um, officially and pretty much yeah it's so basically um it just be active uh like like for example mvp raz fish i believe fish has got like school or family things right now um yeah obviously i want to clear up a lot of, a lot of mvp members have left due to a couple of reasons and that's because they don't enjoy um fortnite anymore the likes of mvp victor big chungus and pretty much frenchy um so yeah some good good players out uh, but you know they're, they're still gonna be friends with us they're still gonna play with us and yeah so a shout out to them um, oh I just had a discord uh, notification <laughs> anyways um, yeah just be active it's really simple and because it shows that you're committed to actually playing um, but yeah so uh, yeah, and also for the people who actually left, they don't like hate us. Um, but basically, it's because they sort of just didn't enjoy Fortnite anymore. And, it, uh, you know, and I can understand that Fortnite is, it can get boring after a while. And I'm sort of taking a break from streams, but I'm going to be cracking on with it soon, honestly. But pretty much, um, MVP, once we get big on Fortnite, if we get big on Fortnite, we're gonna try and branch out to other games like Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege is like next on the list. And then I'm thinking um, Call of Duty, obviously. And then potentially games like Overwatch or stuff like that. But yeah, it, it, it's, all, we, it's all to do with Fortnite. We need to be big on Fortnite before we can do it. Because if we tried to launch Rainbow Six Siege now, we would get no attraction. And yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's get on to uh, the next uh, point. The next thing is kind of simple and it should be kind of expected once again one of those like cliche kind of like you know you don't say kind of things but pretty much just don't be like toxic like at the end of the day we don't really like toxic people that are just like are going to do their own thing but like we don't want people going like, oh you're so trash at even in this clan like, I should be like whatever because yeah. like we have the likes of MVP Raz who's pretty much like so well known when it comes to the MVP in Fortnite, just because he's by far the best player. Um, we have the likes of Fish as well, who's super underrated, take nothing away from him. When we had Victor, I honestly think Victor and Raz would have been actually like, a, you couldn't call the 1v1 kind of thing. 
So yeah, but um, yeah, basically just don't be like toxic because obviously we're just not gonna like that. When people lose the tryouts to like all win them, they're always a bit toxic saying, oh, you're actually so bad at the game. It's just only gonna make us not want you. Um, so yeah, make sure you're just not like toxic. And also um, if people are being toxic in the streams, like if you are, this is when you are an MVP, make sure you them as in when you are a moderator, you get given, uh, when you are in MVP, you get given moderator in my streams. And that's kind of like my way of seeing like can I trust you and just standard um, points obviously if people are like self promoing or just being toxic and you guys know what to do kind of thing um, but yeah I don't know we haven't really had any issues to be honest um, so yeah anyways let's go on to the next point now I know I said this at the start of the video but this is actually for the people wanting to try out make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on because honestly these that because a lot of people comment on my stream saying oh sorry i missed your stream or sorry i didn't see your stream um can i try out and honestly i stream for like two it's maybe even three sometimes even four hours doing tryouts and yeah basically just turn notifications on by subscribing and not only does it really help me out but it's really going to improve your chances of getting in because at least this way it's in YouTube's hand to actually send the notifications out. If YouTube don't send the notifications out, then I can understand and I will apologize for that. But honestly, nine times out of 10, YouTube does um, like send notifications out. So you guys wouldn't miss the streams. And yeah, it's really easy, honestly. It's really, really easy. But yeah, and also it does help me out as well. We are on the push. The sub to MVP movement is on the rise. And uh, yeah, so pretty much, it's quite simple um, to win, to, like to win, to get any tryouts. Obviously, the next point is obviously showing up to the tryouts when notifications or turn the notifications on, and yeah, because obviously that way you'll be able to see the um, notifications of the stream. You can come in, be like, look, can I try out? Yes, you add the people you need to add to try out, and yeah i want one more thing i will add on to that is when you are in the stream watching tries we do literally try and get around to absolutely everyone but usually we have only like the likes of raz and fish helping with the tryouts so for us it's kind of like it's quite hard two people against a ratio of like 10 uh on average trying to try out so it's kind of like for us please be patient when in the live streams we will get around to all of you um which is basically okay so let me explain how the tryouts works basically i being trash at the game, I just host the streams, being one of the bigger channels. If Actually, I think I am the biggest channel in MVP now. Um, me and Tsunami are both on 1,000 subs. But yeah, go subscribe to Tsunami in the description. Uh, but yeah, basically what happens is I host uh, a Zone Wars where you guys can come and join us either if you just want to play or if you just want to warm up for your tryout or if you're waiting to try out. It's basically like a queue system where you guys can at least do something while you're waiting and i feel like that's a fair thing and usually we can get two of these guys in army streams as well the reason we do this is because usually there are times where i used to get like 20 viewers at once and obviously the max you can get is 16 so usually we have two lobbies where me and adam both have like decent lobbies um so yeah make sure once again to subscribe to tsunami in the description um as here we're doing streams as well and yeah but basically what happens, we play zone wars, and when it's your time to try out, you guys can leave, join like either Raz, Fish, or whoever's doing the tryouts. And pretty much, it's quite as simple as that. You go in a build battle with them, first to win two games, as it, two games is a lot quicker than three, trust me. And if you win two games against them, you're in. And if you don't, then you're not, at least for that time only. Like, my advice is keep grinding, keep coming back to the tryout streams, as we believe that no one is a failure and that everyone can come back and try again. Because it happened to Big Chungus before he left. Basically, he failed a tryout against uh, Raz. Raz free and won him. And then he came back the next day, he won v one Fish, who's also really good at the game. And he actually destroyed Fish, like 3 0, I think. So. Fair play to Chungus. Um, he came in. But yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be your boy. Uh, that's gonna be the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to uh, leave a like on the video. And if you are new around here, once again, smash that subscribe button with notifications on. 
hope to see you in the next stream and in videos if you did like this video make sure to drop a like see if you can get 20 likes anyways it's been your boy Andrew P. Elliott. thanks so much for watching and